as de Tesco, BP and Shell warning to drivers over fuel prices petrol stations should make their pump prices 30p lower, fuel experts have said. Texaco, Shell, BP, Asda, Morrisons, Tesco and Sainsbury's petrol stations have been warned that they should be charging far less. During the next week after fuel prices hit their highest levels ever earlier this summer, as seen in the Leicester Mercury, MP Robert Halfon said, this is literally highway robbery from the big oil companies. We need pump watch now to ensure that motorists have a proper watchdog to investigate what appears to be racketeering. And Tory MP Craig McKinley added, we should be seeing reductions of at least 25p per litre across all pump fuels. The public have reached their own conclusions that excessive profiteering is at play. Howard Cox, founder of the Fair Fuel UK campaign said, the foul stench of profiteering gets even more overpowering. Fuel prices hit their highest ever levels earlier this summer as the UK's cost of living crisis worsened. But major retailers are still increasing their petrol prices despite wholesale costs of unleaded petrol dropping, the RAC said this week. AA President Edmund King also criticized major retailers for failing to drop prices, branding it unforgivable. A spokesman for Sainsbury's said, we are committed to offering motorists great value, and over the weekend we lowered the price of petrol and diesel across our forecourts. We price locally and competitively. RAC issues petrol price warning to drivers filling up at Asda, Sainsbury's, Morrison's and Tesco. The RAC has said that a recent fall in wholesale costs has not been reflected for motorists. At the pumps drivers have been warned not to rely on their supermarket for petrol as they could see themselves overpaying when they fill up their tank. The RAC has said that major retailers are failing to reduce petrol prices for motorists, despite wholesale costs falling. The roadside recovery firm said that drivers are paying 183p per litre on average, but the wholesale cost is back down to 131.75p per litre, after seeing fuel costs hit their highest ever levels earlier in the summer. The wholesale price of petrol has since fallen by 20p since early June, according to the RAC. The wholesale cost is now back down to levels last seen in early May, when the average price of a litre at the pump for drivers was around 167p, Wales Online reports. After increasing prices for motorists throughout June, retailers have only reduced costs by an average of 9p since. This means that drivers could be paying nearly £9 more per tank than they ought to be. The RAC also said that drivers should be paying 182p per litre for diesel, rather than the 192p per litre on average seen at the end of July. RAC Fuel Spokesman Simon Williams said, July has been an unnecessarily tough month for drivers due to the big four supermarkets' unwillingness to cut their prices to a more reasonable level. Reflecting the consistent and significant reductions in the wholesale cost of petrol and diesel. As it was, we saw independent retailers leading the charge, with fairer pump prices appearing all around the country which eventually forced the supermarkets to finally implement a more substantial cut late last Friday afternoon. What ought to have happened is that the biggest retailers cut their prices more significantly on a daily basis, given the wholesale price of petrol has fallen steadily over the last eight weeks, Mr. Williams added. The big four supermarkets of Asda, Morrison's, Sainsbury's and Tesco have faced criticism in recent weeks along with other 
suppliers for failing to reduce their pump prices, with the cost of living continuing to rise. The RAC has advised drivers to shop around when it comes to getting their tank filled. As the major supermarkets may no longer be the cheapest places to get fuel. Mr. Williams told motorists that it is now, highly likely you'll find an independent retailer which is doing the right thing and fairly reflecting their lower wholesale costs by charging a lower price.